inches on this cow horn pepper. And it's not even stretched out all the way. You notice his evidence last week. There he is. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. Yeah. He's had a good life. But it's not going to be here anymore. Yeah, I don't see any uh, <sighs> of those little aphids on him either. Or uh, what do they call them? Oh, the um, parasitic wasps. Yeah. Brachnid yes. wasps. The little chompers. Yeah, dude. Eating away. Ugly little ah. thing. Yeah, hey, so you start to see well, you, so you start to see them when you start to see things that are chewed off, like these, like all the leaves are chewed off, and you'll get branches chewed off. And when I came out here earlier, I didn't see him yet because I couldn't <laughs> see him because they're pretty they're good at camouflage. See. But there was a whole tomato on here that was half eaten. Ugh. So he's been eating a lot. All right, do you see what I see here? Check that guy out. So that's a hornworm. We knew he had a couple of hornworms. If you see those little white eggs on his back, this hornworm has been attacked by one of those brachnid wasps. And uh, so it's laid its eggs on its back and they will hatch and actually eat the worm. It's basically paralyzed at this point. So you don't kill them when you see those because those wasps are predators of the hornworms. But look at that. It's kind of messed up in a way because he's just paralyzing and me basically eating alive. But uh, we don't care because we don't like hornworms. How's it going, Shed Wars? Long time no see. So we haven't posted a video in a little over a week because I've been uh, on bed rest, really. I uh, threw my lower back out. I think I've got a some disc problems in my lower back and my hip and I have been in excruciating pain. So we came back to the homestead today. We've been in my other house because the, the doctors are closer over there. And uh, come back and we see my peach tree here got snapped over. Which is no fun. And all these peaches obviously they I didn't know. Uh, pick them off enough anyway. I mean, this was completely just loaded with fruit. So these trees are leaning over too. But, I just saw a squirrel up here in the tree. But, yeah, this last week has been uh, excruciatingly painful. And I can still barely walk now, but we've got to do it. So here on the homestead, a uh, weather update is we're in our second drought of the season, I guess. It really hasn't rained at any significant amount in the last two months and uh, everything's super dry again and uh, since we were gone for four or five days these are my peppers that are growing in my in our shop back pot they started to dry out they still look pretty good I mean they're still okay they were just stressed and dry they've got some peppers on I don't know what kind of peppers these actually are but they look look kind of like cayenne's clouds but no water this weekend it may rain on Sunday. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna go to the garden and uh, see what we've got there. Cause again, it's been four or five days since we've been in the garden. So it's probably a mess. There's a lot of good tomatoes, but look at this okra over here. These okra are hurting for water, man. Whew. Yeah, it's time to Turn the water on to everything. I think we've got it turned off on the inside and Amy's gonna turn it on, but if I could move, I'd have been out here, but I couldn't get out of bed, so. But yeah, for two months to not really have any waters, even sunflowers are hurting, everything's just hurting. So, not good, not good. Gosh, these okra have gone crazy. At least our corn's ready for the most part. But it's all stressed too because it hasn't had enough water. What a mess. 
I'm beat. So this is our uh, July update for Shed Wars. So over the last week, we have not been able to do anything out here. Nothing. We haven't even been here. I haven't been able to leave because I can't sit in a car for too long. So um, <clears throat> I went to the doctor and got some drugs. And the drugs help a little bit, but not a lot. And uh, that tells me a lot, too. So um, I'm supposed to go to some physical therapy about it. Um, so we've got to find a place around here or on the other side of town. Uh, it's just tough. It's tough. If we had rain, everything here would have been fine. If we just had had some rain. But we've had nothing. And uh, we didn't have it automated to where it turns on and off, you know, at specific times or anything. So we could kind of judge that. We would had to manually turn it on. And since we weren't here and I couldn't get up off the bed, I was stuck in bed. There's nothing we could do. It's just frustrating when you put all this work into something like that and then a hip injury and back injury comes in, just comes out of the blue with some inflammation. And so I had sciatica as well. So for those of you who don't know that, that's a nerve that runs all the way down your leg. And um, when that's irritated, it's bad. You uh, So whether I would stand or sit or lay down, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't... Um, couldn't stay awake without just being in excruciating pain. I couldn't sleep on my right side, my left side, my back, or my stomach. That's how bad it got at one point. Um, you just had to find a very specific way you could lay where it was the least painful. So the only lesson I can really give you on this one is take care of your body. Listen to your body. If uh, you're straining your back gardening, hold off, rest, relax. Uh, I think we did too much. We were picking a bunch of stuff manually. It was just too much for us. And I've had a back injury like this before. So it's not really new, but this time it was a bit worse than I've ever had. And uh, it still feels worse than it's ever felt. So just uh, just keep in mind, you know, stay hydrated is one thing, but don't bend over at the waist. That's another thing. You know, really take care of your body. Because it doesn't matter how, how well your garden grows, if you aren't there to pick it or water it or take care of it, it's just going to disappear on you. So we're out here now, and um, we're going to give it some water and um, just hope it recovers. It's really all that we can do. So Amy looked it up, and what would you say? We're supposed to get 5 inches on average rain in July? Right? Yeah, we're at 0.1 inches. And we're at 0.1 inches. So this is... I guess un unusual for us to only have 0.1 and we're supposed to get 5 inches of rain here in a normal July. But this year's just been like that. Everybody keeps stealing our rain. Yeah, I feel bad fussing about it when everyone else's garden has literally been flooded out. But would like some of that rain, please. Yeah, some water would be good. Everything would have been fine if my hip hadn't busted up. That'd be... We'd be just fine. But... It's too good. It's too easy. Yeah, our, our year was going way too, way too well for it to keep going like that. I didn't see any pumpkins. And the watermelons looked a little rough, but... I think we've lost a lot of our pumpkins based off what I'm seeing, which is basically no pumpkins. You want to talk about disappointing? That crushes me. So, we spent all this time and it's all they're all dead. It's just there's never a good time to get sick, right? There's never a good time to get injured. Oh, man. I wish I could tell you how bad this hurts. Um, but to lose most of the things that you wanted to 
to do with pumpkins is bad. Lose all your pumpkins based off of just a hip injury. It's pretty depressing, but on the bright side, there's still some watermelons over there. I don't know if they're going to be stunted beyond belief too, because they haven't gotten any water either. And uh, my peppers actually seem to be picking up a little bit over here. There's definitely a lot of red bell peppers over here. For whatever that's worth. These look like they got blown over. Looks like some of those tomato plants got blown over. So my diagnosis really is just some level of arthritis some disc degeneration, but not anything that they said is unusual, really, in my lumbar spine. And uh, so it's just pinching, pinching nerves in my hip and uh, making my leg have shooting pain down all the way to my toes. And uh, it's, it's almost impossible to walk and, uh, and really hard to sleep, too. So, you know, sometimes you just got to let it go. Unfortunately, this year, it's not been a good year for rain. It has been absolutely horrible. And, uh, you know, if we didn't have irrigation, we'd have never grown anything. So luckily we had some of that. But, you know, it's just some things pile on top of each other. So <sighs> today's not a good day on the homestead. This last week has not been a good week on the homestead. But, you know, we're counting our blessings because we've had so many good good days and good weeks and we've had so much success so far we're not giving up but i gotta take care of myself first i can't uh, i can't overdo it this body only lasts so much you know i only have so much time with this body here and it can only do so much and uh when you're injured you need to heal so we're not hurting for food or anything like that so it'll be fine it's just disappointing so also in the last week in a turn of bad news, I lost uh, our, my cat Inca, who I've had for 16 years, passed away. Um, it was it was quick. She was just old, and uh, so that's pretty sad. But, so this week has been a week of pain and loss. And you're going to get weeks like that. It just uh, sometimes it seems like when it rains, it pours, you know. Which is kind of ironic since it's so dry. Maybe we'll get some rain. With that, I'm going to let you guys go. And hopefully the next episode will be a little bit more upbeat and happy. And we'll have some, some better news. But for now, you guys take it easy. And... Uh, just remember to take care of yourselves. Bye.
Thank you.